Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail we're gonna be doing something very very different now unfortunately I do not have any live attacks for you guys and just just wait a minute here I'm going to explain something for a minute so pretty much what has been happening lately actually actually since yesterday is my recording software has always been so annoying since yesterday you guys I could not record a video I did not record a video yesterday I had a pre-recorded video and I uploaded that one the town hall for let's play video and uh, since then for some reason it is always lagging and when i record and i finish the recording it just crashes and i literally i just recorded the video and it crashed at the end i saved the file and it just crashed i could not save it any longer and you know guys it is so so frustrating you do not understand the frustration i currently have i mean it is so annoying i'm sweating right now because i already recorded this and i am so pissed off that i lost the recording it was an absolutely amazing video it was a oh, I don't know you guys I cannot explain it with any other words I'm just very very annoyed right now so please bear with me understand I cannot show you any live attacks right now so I am going to show you some replays but it is still going to be a very a very fun video so with that being said if you still do want to stick around well done thank you very much and I will just show you a few replays and do the commentary over that so with that being said let's get into this in three two one BAM! Okay, so we are going to have a look at the attack on Lydia's base first off and so what we're doing pretty much is we are doing the tank unit attack strategy. Now this is not an actual attack strategy you guys, do not use this at all, this is not an actual attack strategy, although you could use it, it sort of does work, because look at this you guys, we dropped in two golems, I think two lava hounds, a single pekka, ten giants and two uh, dragons and that is actually working out really well, you're gonna see at the end of the attack, you will see how much percent we're Gonna get on this base so look at this we've got the lava hunt in the dead center of the base dropping in all of those raid spells we still do have a single raid spell which we are going to drop in just a few moments you guys i think we're gonna drop it on the golem is that right i think that is correct in three two one maybe not okay so maybe not over on the golems but that is fine you guys so we still do have a ton of giants on the top of the base with our barbarian king over here and we're gonna pop that king ability actually yeah okay so i was right so we did drop the raid spell on the golem okay so that is that is Okay, so okay, so we do have our Barbarian King on the top of the base with the Pekka right here, speed Pekka right there, speed run. I may even make a video on that, like just making hay spells with Pekkas. That is just so much fun, you guys. Look at this, we've got the Barbarian King attacking this air defense, you guys. If we do zoom out a little bit, we are going to see the Arch Queen on the bottom of the base right here. She is taking out all sorts of things. She is taking out the Elixir storage, the uh, Dark Spell Factory. She's gonna take out every single one of these things right here on the bottom of the base, which is pretty damn awesome and now we have the barbarian king distracting the archer tower right here which means our dragon still has a chance of taking out a few more structures then after that the archer tower is going to target our dragon though which is going to be unfortunate because the dragon is going to then die and uh, the golem sadly wasn't fast enough to tank for our dragon and now it's just a race against the clock so you can see we've got 36 seconds left in the base but if we zoom out a little bit Lydia absolutely trolled the heck out of us we've got one, two, and three builder sods on the base right here. Will we have enough time to actually three star the space? I don't know, you guys. You let me know down below in the comment section how many percentage points do you think we can get? Can we get a hundred percent? Will we get 98 percent or 99 percent? You guys, Arch Queen going in on that builder sods. We only have 12 seconds left, you guys. Race against the clock. Arch Queen running towards the builder sods. Let me know down below in the comment section in three. Two, one, and the raid is going to end right here, you guys. And sadly, we are going to stick with 99%, you guys. A 99% two star, that is very unfortunate, but it is what it is, you guys. And I mean, the fact that this strategy actually got 99%, that is absolutely crazy, you guys. Because if you think about it, it's only 17 units. Count the units, and you will see it's only 17 units on the battlefield. And that is crazy that something like that can actually one or two star or even three 
3 stars. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to show you a few other attacks and uh, yeah, you will let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this attack strategy. Okay, so check this out because this is the base we also attack and you can see this is a dead base. So that means the Inferno Towers and the Expos do not have any juice in them. That is an absolute advantage for us. You will see why in the center, in the middle of the attack, actually not in the center. So pretty much let me unpause the replay and check this out. So you can see dropping in the two golems as always. Dropping in the two golems always first because they're not dropping the king and queen and the giant. So look at this king and queen going in behind and that means the golems can actually tank for my barbarian king and for the arch queen. Now you can see some valkyries and I didn't really want the valkyries to be in this attack. I thought I had a lava hound in my clan castle but sadly I had valkyries and that means this is not really an actual tanker unit attack strategy because the valkyries did sort of come into the attack and they sort of uh, destroyed the all the whole theme I guess but that is funny because the valkyries didn't really affect this attack too much. I mean they took out about five or seven structures that is fine though and uh, yeah pretty much let me just pause the replay right here. So imagine Imagine the Teslas, so not the Teslas, the uh, Inferno Towers and the Expos, every single one of those Expos being alive and the two Inferno Towers. That would have absolutely annihilated the heck out of my Dragon, the Barbarian King and the two Giants in behind. I mean just imagine that, the Expos are on air, every single one of them and that means my Dragon would have, would have been dead in just a matter of seconds and then my Barbarian King, he would have most likely died by this Inferno Tower. The Inferno Tower is in range of the Barbarian King, the Barbarian King would have been dead by now. The Archer Queen on the top of the base though, she is doing some real damage with the help of the P.E.K.K.A. you guys. The Golems and the Giants are actually tanking for my P.E.K.K.A. which is pretty damn awesome because the P.E.K.K.A. is on low health and that means we are going to still have our P.E.K.K.A. alive. The Barbarian King is doing a ton of damage to the Town Hall. He is going to manage to take down this Town Hall by himself, well with the help of a few Barbarians but he summoned them so that is pretty damn awesome you guys. Now the Mortar is targeting our Barbarians low on battery you guys. I will have to end this video quickly because otherwise I will just uh, not have enough battery and I will have to record this entire thing again but yes this is out of the topic so the dragon is still alive attacking that cannon you guys the cannon is going to fall and you can already see where this is heading you guys yes this is heading to a 3 star 50 seconds left in the battle you can see the only thing we have to worry about is time yet again so we still have about a minute at this point you can only see 40 seconds because in 40 seconds the actual attack is going to end but the original time we still have is about a minute right now and uh, that means we don't really have to worry about anything because you can see there is only a single Tesla the clan castle in the center of the base and then the wizard tower that for some reason is on the outside of the base I really do not know what this guy was thinking when he was building this base why would you put a single wizard tower on the outside of the base that just makes no sense whatsoever to me and uh, yeah the arch queen is just going to absolutely annihilate this war favorite target of the arch queen is the wars you guys you know that I know that everyone knows that even super knows that but they don't really change anything about that so that's pretty funny but there we go wizard tower just went down and that is going to be the 100 percent you guys just imagine this real quick so you've got two golems two lava hounds two dragons a pekka and ten giants and you can actually three star a base how hilarious is that you guys just go ahead and try it out if you're a town hall nine if you're a town hall eight i would recommend take something else instead of the lava hounds or maybe take a few more units i'm not quite sure if you can unlock the Golems at Town Hall 8, I believe so. Let me just check it out in some of my clan mates. So, someone, someone right here must be Town Hall 8, right? So, this goes to Town Hall 8, and yes, he has unlocked the Golems, so you can unlock the Golems, and that means you can take two Golems with you, and uh, then instead of the Lava Hounds, because you can't really take them with you, I'll take just a few more Pekka or a few more Golems. One of those two, or a few more Dragons, maybe. And uh, yeah, that would be pretty damn awesome for you guys. This is so much fun, you guys. Trust me, try it out yourselves. You're going to have the fun of your life like literally it's going to be so much fun i have to change up my sort of gaming style in clash of clans just because it's, it is so much fun doing different attack strategies it is just hilarious i'm having so much fun again and yeah with that being said i think we should move on to the common question of the day which comes to us by none other than indian commando so he is always first by the way on my videos almost always so if you do want to try and beat him then i mean i dare you i challenge you but i don't think you can manage that because he is just an absolute absolute beast you guys now i'm not quite sure if he's going to be first for my next couple of videos because he did mention at some point that he is going to be studying or something like that and so he cannot watch my videos or something like that for just a few weeks so keep that in mind but yeah anyways he does ask common question of the day if jasu makes you leader unfortunately of youtube general then what will you do will you
you give it back to Jasu? Will you give it to Liu or will you just keep it? So, um, I'm not quite sure what he really means because he says unfortunately from YouTube General and why unfortunately? I don't really get that. YouTube General is an absolutely awesome clan. I'm loving this. It is so active. Active 24-7. You donate all the time. You get donations. It is just absolutely insane. Let me just show you real quick. For example, Liu right here, he is going for 50,000 this season. He is at 23,000, almost halfway. You guys, so GG Liu on that. But uh, yeah, pretty much if Jasu would make me leader, would I give it back or would I keep it or would I give it to Liu? So pretty much I would actually give it back, you guys. Why would I keep it? I mean, I don't really have an advantage in having leader. I don't really have any sort of advantage. The only advantage I have is that I cannot get kicked, whereas now I can get kicked. But I mean, if I do something wrong in the clan, then I absolutely deserve to get kicked, you guys. And uh, so I would just give it back because also the problem with being leader or co-leader is you have so, so many responsibilities. Literally, you guys cannot imagine every single war we get a clan mayor saying that uh, we have to attack this base, the other base, the other base. And it is just so frustrating uh, for a co-leader. I'm assuming, you guys, I'm just assuming this because you would have to look at every single one of your bases and then every single one of the enemy's bases and see which guy is going to attack who. I mean, just check this out. Let's have a look at a single clan mayor. For example, on the bottom, you can see Lewis the Pen says GT attack 1 and 2, EA 3 and 4, Andy 7 and 8, then 4K 5 and 6, me 9 and 10. It is just, I don't know, you guys. I could not do this. This would be way too much uh, sort of uh, work for me. I could not do this, so I would just give it back. And I think this should answer the question, the common question of the day. So I think I'm going to end the video. So if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also let me know down below in the comment section what your common question of the day is. If you are underrated, but you can drop a comment and then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos. And with all that being said, you guys, my name is of course Sasha, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.